I just, I just told them I want to see the team I recognize. They know exactly what I'm saying when I, when I say that. I want to see the team that I recognize, whether, again, whether in Walsh, Alumni Hall, Webster Bank Arena, Chapel Hill, the Dean Dome. Um, I just want to see the team that's shown their heart. Again, tremendously unselfish. Um, they play hard for each other, and, uh, and we're resilient. And so I, I wanted to see that. I wasn't seeing that at 13-0, but I certainly saw that at 13-9 and at various other points throughout the game. Yes, uh, the team buying, but not just because of this game. We just buying because it's not about the other team. It's about us. Okay, we play for us. We do not worry about the other team. We worry about them when the time comes. But we don't have those rivalry. It's about us. We fight for us. Well, there's a there's a great article on him in Fairfield University Magazine. The big guy is, is, is the name of the article, and he's, he certainly is that. He's a tremendous young man off the court. Uh, on the court, he's a, he's a man. I mean, he's absolutely a man. He's coming in as a freshman. He's owning the glass. He's, uh, he works tremendously hard. He holds his teammates accountable and himself. And so you see a big difference. Yale's a really good team in game one, but we missed him incredibly. And he didn't have a chance to really prepare game two, game three, game four, and so on. You can see the difference that he has on our team, allows other guys to do well what they do, and um, he can clean up the boards for us. 15 rebounds in his fourth game, it's, uh, it's pretty special. And we've got a kid that we think is going to be really good for the next four years. For me, it's not even something that I, I think about it. It's just, it happens. It's my house. Nobody gets in my house. And the pain is my house, and we defend it as a family, collector. So nobody gets in my house. It's that simple. Thank you.